so friends i have been using this uh, evaluation x for past one month so <clears throat> this is the uh, latest official uh, evaluation x so when i was installing it was having a november uh, security patch and a uh, few weeks uh, back i believe uh, 28th uh, december uh, they have released the ota update so currently i am running that uh, particular ota update uh, which is the uh, evaluation x version 8.1 uh, they gave the name as uh, uh, Yama. So also this uh, version 8.2 uh, also have released but it is not uh, official one so to commit uh, to the official it may take some time uh, that is called innovation. There are a uh, few things uh, which I have to uh, mention about this particular uh, evaluation X. So we have uh, talked more about evaluation X in the previous uh, videos but here I can see that this is a Android 14 based evaluation X we still have a evolver and there are uh, much more customization added uh, when compared to Android 13 uh, version of Evaluation X. There are a few things uh, which I uh, really really like about uh, this particular build on my Redmi Note 10 Pro. Uh, those are that uh, we have a inbuilt uh, Dolby Atmos where you can, uh, what I would say, uh, can uh, control the different audio profiles. Okay, so here you have the uh, Dolby Atmos where you can select uh, different profiles like dynamic video music and voice i personally use uh, dynamic so which uh, perfectly balance with my uh, realme uh, buds r3 so also we have a dialogue enhancer and other features even you have a equalizer for jazz uh, pop music so whatever uh, you want uh, as per your taste you can uh, use it also the dual uh, stereo speaker also works uh, really fine so audio clarity wise it's really really great also in terms of the video uh, the l1 uh, certification drm status wise uh, l1 is uh, there so you can watch uh, full hd uh, uh, content in the uh, what Amazon Prime or uh, Netflix. I have run the all these test cases but I ha have to uh, tell that uh, this is uh, same as the previous other uh, MIUI or other custom ROMs. There isn't much difference but uh, when it comes to uh, performance in multitasking uh, this is one of the really uh, great ROM uh, I would say. This is just uses the processor really uh, great as I'm mentioning that this really uses the processor great it will be having a little bit of uh, warmness at the same time the battery backup will uh, talk uh, both of uh, them in the later part of this video so uh, usable wise it's really really uh, smooth and i actually uh, like it a lot also the flow here is really really uh, great yeah so fingerprint uh, works fine and uh, you also have a phase unlock option also this one uh, passes the uh, safety net uh, by default so all the banking apps and payment apps should work also this one supports uh, career aggregation so netmonster i have uh, tested it so yeah multi-band uh, connection is available also even in the cpu throttling wise also uh, have the score here i can so this is the actual uh, graph of that uh, cpu throttling test it was sh staying above all the 15 minutes sometimes it took a dip it is because of some uh, message and other things were coming in the background due to that but uh, it is uh, still uh, pretty good uh, in my opinion also i have uh, tested the gaming as well so here you can see that i was uh, running pubg in a smooth you have an option to uh, run it under uh, 90 fps which will be working really really great if you want a smooth uh, performance like if you want to actually as as you know this uh, particular device runs at uh, 120 hits uh, refresh rate of the uh, display so that option is there also in the in the high end if you want to go means you can go till uh, hd high high fps where you will be getting around uh, 30 to 35 fps so uh, 28 to 35 so it's overall i would say uh, gaming wise also it is uh, decent uh, you can uh, you can trust on that also i have uh, run the uh, geekbench 6 so the single core performance is 739 and multi core is uh, 1676 so these are all the uh, common numbers and 3d mark also the uh, score is great i was getting around uh, 11 10 and the 6.65 frame rate uh, which is uh, normal like uh, every other uh, custom rooms there are uh, other uh, things which i have to mention is 
there's a default uh, Leica camera, Xiaomi's one, so which works uh, perfectly fine. But uh, I would say that uh, this one uh, having an issue with the video recording where you can't record it at uh, 1080 uh, 60 FPS, uh, 1080 60 uh, won't work. See, you can it will just crash. So you have to use it uh, 1080 60, 1080 uh, 30 or 4K 30 FPS, which perfectly uh, works uh, fine. Also, here you can see that. Okay. Okay. So here you have the option to uh, enable the uh, EAS, but when you enable the EAS, there will be a cropping and uh, there is a little bit uh, jittering effect, which I usually don't like uh, with the MI devices in the video uh, compartment. So I will just uh, disable it. You also have an option to take a HDR video, but I didn't see much uh, difference in that. Also you have a pro mode where you can uh, customize uh, multiple uh, configuration like focus, uh, ISO and uh, all the good stuffs. And here you have uh, uh, the option to uh, take a photo in all the uh, uh, lenses in 2x, 1x or uh, 0.6. Also you have a beauty mode and you have a color profile like in Leica, Vibrant or uh, Leica and that authenticate which you will get it in the Xiaomi uh, Pro grade phones. And uh, portrait also there but uh, yeah all the features works uh, just fine. Also I have installed the Google camera LMC 8.4 if you want to watch that uh, particular video of me installing this one you can uh, use the link which appear right now. The thing about this one is same uh, here also the 1080 uh, 60 FPS is not working maybe due to some limitation in here or something but camera wise uh, it is uh, fine I would say. So overall you have all the customizations you need also uh, there are other features like uh, uh, increasing the FPS, uh, unlocking the FPS in the games and Netflix spoof as it is considered as a different model and you have uh, pixel props where you can uh, have the Google Photos, uh, unlimited Google Photos and other things. Uh, there are other uh, miscellaneous things uh, which you can uh, go through one by one. There are uh, tons of theming option here you can see have customized it. But uh, before this version I was using 8.0 I believe. In that uh, there is a different launcher uh, which will be having a double tap to uh, uh, what uh, shutdown or something. But they were again came back to Pixel OS as that was having some um, lagness in the uh, using the refresh this one what I would say uh, recent panel. But uh, they have came back again to Pixel uh, Pixel uh, launcher. Due to that reason, uh, all my setup whichever I have had in the previous uh, home screen, it all went. But uh, I would say uh, the OT update process is uh, much more smooth. I don't know where I went, I just searched here, I believe system updates, yeah. So inside system, we have a system update. So uh, here I received the uh, OT update, it downloaded and it directly installed. I installed it and also I was having a pitch black recovery I believe I'm not sure whether I have separately installed or installed with this one so I will make sure to leave the link of this custom ROM which is a latest one uh, 8.1 official not the 8.0 so you can uh, follow the procedure and if you are uh, doubt about uh, how to install or something I have I have made a multiple videos of installing it the procedure is same as that so you can watch the uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro series. So what about the issue of uh, this particular ROM? The only one uh, concern that I have is this uh, battery backup which is uh, not that great. So in my uh, use case uh, it is coming like uh, morning if I fully charge and go. Uh, by evening or 7 am 7 pm or 8 pm it is getting finished i have it in here so here is the history so uh, old one you can leave it because that is a uh, previous version one so here you can see that uh, by 3 hours uh, 10 minutes overall 20 hours it is used uh, so 3 hours 10 minutes it just uh, gone into 60 percentage it's showing but overall 61 percentage uh, the battery is gone so uh, the thing is uh, this one uh, last uh, it will give a, here you can see like uh, 68 to 1 percentage uh, 3 hours uh, 28 minutes screen on time. So what I am uh, thinking is uh, it will be giving like uh, 6 to 7 hours of uh, screen on time here also the estimation is same like 6 hours 39 minutes. So more and more I use uh, more and more it will get accurate. So uh, 6 to 7 hours uh, I can easily use uh, with the uh, all the features turned on GPS camera or whatever uh, so six hours is a benchmark six hour to seven hours i can uh, uh, nicely use 
so that is the only con uh, which i have uh, with me other than that all the things are working fine the scrolling and uh, watching videos uh, camera front and back and uh, default uh, this uh, like a camera is uh, really really great so yeah overall it's a good package and uh, uh, worth uh, uh, trying it so only concern as i said it's a battery rest all are great and ot update which i really really like if uh, 8.2 comes also i will be using it uh, as a, this one if i have my if i if i can if i have to use this device as my primary and i no need to make any video of, uh, of a device or something i may stick with uh, evaluation x fast charger also there so yeah overall i like the rom this is what my review Thank you for watching Code Motor.